Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Aaron Hauser and today we're going to do a special unboxing slash review of the Hot Toys Avengers Hulk 1 6th scale figure. This thing looks massive. I literally just got it in the mail so I'm going to uh, try to pry open this huge box and let's take a look at this guy. One of the things I thought was kind of interesting about this is that it actually comes with a handle on the case. Now I'm not sure if they cut it, uh, cut the box just so that you could have the handle on the end of it, but I thought that was kind of a nice touch. All right, get rid of that. Holy shit, this guy is big. There. Alright, splice this open a bit just so it comes out a little faster. If we can get it. There we go. Wow. Alright. Hitting the camera all the time here. All right, that is what it looks like in the box. Beautiful packaging, has a nice pick of Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk. Then on the top, clearly designated as the Hulk. All right, I'll pop this open. It's got a tab on the top here. Packed in foam, actually, which is nice. Comes uh, nicely packed in this uh, hard styrofoam brick almost. As you can see, it's got the two hands, the alternate hands, packed separately. And then it's also got this plastic guard over the top of it so that he doesn't just rock around in the packaging. Alright, we'll pull out these additional hands. These are the ones that are articulated so you can do a variety of poses with that. Pull that out of the packaging there. There's one. And the second one. Alright, let's pull this guy out of his packaging. Some little instructions there. Alright. Wow. I really like that they did this, the uh, the plastic packaging over the head just so that it doesn't uh, smudge any of the, the detailing on it. Really appreciate it when they take the time to do that. You just gotta kind of pull these little bits of plastic off, I'm guessing. around his hands so we'll actually have to detach the hands to get that off. Alright. Still got some under this joint. There we go. Yeah 
Yeah, this guy is really well packed. Really surprised at how much time they put into uh, making sure that he is absolutely locked in there. All right, almost done. Take this hand off and get the packaging off. That's one. And then the hands are interchangeable with a ball joint like that. So it looks like they're fairly easy to switch out. And they go on there nice and tight. Move the other one. Whoa. There we go. Oh, that scared me at first. Yeah, another thing that I had heard in a review that I watched prior to ordering this is that the joints actually do ratchet into position, which is really nice for a figure of this size. Give you a quick look at the face there. Fantastic amount of detailing on this guy. And we'll do a separate uh, review portion on this in a bit, but right now I'm just going to give you kind of a sense of the scale and size of this figure. Set him up right here. All right, to give you kind of an idea of how tall he is, here is a 12 inch figure compared to him. Of course, I had to choose Admiral Akbar. And then here is the Hulk compared to the 18 inch Captain America from the NECA line. So, as you can see, this guy is absolutely gigantic. And he is, I'm going to guess, pretty much 18, 18 and a half inches on the dot. So, compared to the 12 inch figures, he is perfect, uh, perfectly scaled. So this is the first uh, Avengers 1 6th scale figure that I've been able to purchase from Hot Toys. I'd like to get a couple of the other ones, although the Iron Man ones seem to go for a, ri a ridiculous amount these days. So, But yeah, let's jump into a quick review of this guy. Taking a look now at detailing and articulation, let's start by looking at the additional hands. These things are incredibly well detailed. Everything from the little pores on the skin, to the fingernails. The thumb is not opposable, um, but the fingers are, so you can kind of flex those individually. Give something nice and classy. But overall, it's a very, very nice addition that they had the, uh, the open hand version. Uh, with this figure. I was really glad that they did that. Most of the other Hulk figures you see have that um, iconic closed clenched fist look. So taking a look at articulation, he has articulation in the ankles, in the knees, in the hips, in the waist, on a ball joint actually for the waist. He has articulation in the wrists, on a ball joint, and then the arms have this sort of rubbery plastic that flexes with the joint that's inside of the of the arm there. So it actually is really cool because then the skin moves with the articulation, which is really cool looking. Has articulation in the shoulders. A little loose, it seems like there's added flexibility up and down there in the head which we'll actually tilt up for here real quick the head is also on a ball joint and then a nice feature that they added to this and I guess this is going to be kind of a standard for some of the newer figures is there is a removable portion of the head there set this down so you can get a closer look and you can actually rotate each eye individually so that you can position it looking left right up down which is really really cool and the hair piece is actually held on by magnets right there so it attaches very easily like that and it's seamless almost you can't really even tell where the uh, the part is that detaches it it actually took me a second to kind of realize where the 
the, the magnets were. So, um, as far as detailing, this figure has got detailing out the ass. Everything from the, the chest hair to the veins all along his arm. The back just looks incredible. The face is... This is the best Mark Ruffalo Hulk sculpt that I have seen yet. The teeth actually glisten. The eyes are just perfect. They You can't really see it with this lighting, unfortunately, but the eyes are incredibly sharp. He's got a uh, cloth clothing for uh, the pants there. Has that sort of torn look from when he hulks out. Some really cool muscle definition, and then the feet also look really cool. Got the veins there as well. So yeah, this guy, even though he goes for roughly 400, 450, all things considered, that includes shipping, this guy is absolutely fantastic. And as part of a complete Avengers lineup for Hot Toys, this guy is sure to stand out just, not, not just in size, but in detailing far above the other figures in this line. I've seen the, uh, what was it? I think it was the Loki and the Thor and Captain America in person at a comic shop recently. And those ones look pretty good, but the Hulk definitely, definitely stands out among the rest. Um, I really love that they took the time to kind of almost blend in the different articulation points. The only one that really stands out to my eye is the, the shoulders. Other than that, on display, I can barely see the wrist points. Um, it was really cool how they camouflaged the elbow, uh, the elbow joints like that. Just a fantastic piece. So if you're thinking about getting this figure, it's definitely worth the money. And uh, for the amount of detailing and everything you get in it, it is just fantastic. So overall, really excited to add this guy to my collection. So that is it for this review. If you have any questions about the figure, just leave them in the comments below. And check out some of my other reviews. As always, thanks for watching.